In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the ECG app on your Fitbit Charge 5. So starting from your clock face, if you swipe from left to right, you should see the ECG app. If you don't, you'll need to update your firmware or wait for the firmware update to roll out to you, or it may not be available in your country. So assuming you do see that, go ahead and tap to start. And if you're doing this for the first time, it'll say set up on phone. Open your Fitbit app and go to the Discover tab, find Assessments and Reports. And if it can find your phone, it might tell you to do something else, but I'll just follow these instructions for now. So I'll open my Fitbit app, and then you go to the Discover tab, and I need to find Assessments and Reports. So I see that. And it looks like over here it says check your ECG. So if it can connect to your phone, it may also say to get started, open the Fitbit mobile app. I think I tried this before and it didn't do anything, so I'm not sure that's exactly working at the moment. So if that doesn't work for you, go to the Discover tab, scroll down to these assessment and reports. You can also tap on see all. And so here it says check your ECG heart rhythm assessment. I'll go ahead and tap on that. So it says, heart rhythm assessment, 30 seconds on wrist assessment. A regular heart rhythm can affect health. Analyze your heartbeat for signs of atrial fibrillation, AFib, and irregular heart rhythm. You can scroll down for more information. You can, after the report, share your results in a PDF to share with the healthcare professional. And you can keep reading through this information. And then once you're done, you can tap get started. And it says, before you continue, this assessment only analyzes for signs of an irregular heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation or AFib. Please confirm the following. I'm 22 years or older. I don't have a pacemaker. I understand this assessment can't detect heart attack, blood clots, stroke, or other heart conditions. And I understand this assessment is not a diagnosis. So assuming you understand and Confirm all of these are true for you. You can tap I confirm, otherwise you can tap leave assessment. So I'll go ahead and tap I confirm. It has an important note about privacy. It uses your data to assess for signs of AFib. To provide you with this feature, we collect electrical sensor data. Use this data in accordance with our privacy policy. It includes our research to improve existing products and services and develop new ones. All these things. So you can either view the privacy policy in detail again, or by using this feature, you can authorize Fitbit to use your data as described above and in the Fitbit privacy policy. So if you don't agree to this, tap leave setup, but you won't be able to take your ECG. So if you agree, go ahead and tap I agree. So how it works. The rhythm your heart makes can be detected by the electrical sensors on your Fitbit device. This data is analyzed for signs of AFib, an irregular heart rhythm, the electrical sensors are on the back of the device and on the metal frame around the device face. So back of the device here and then around here and here, these little metal portions. It says when these sensors are in contact with your skin and the ECG app is open, they record the electrical signals from your heartbeat. When the heart is in AFib, the upper chambers of the heart contract irregularly, increasing the risk of heart attack, blood clots, stroke, and other heart conditions. Tap on next. So results you might see, you might see normal sinus rhythm. Your heart rhythm appears normal. It does not show signs of AFib. Or you may get atrial fibrillation. Your heart rhythm shows signs of AFib. And they recommend you contact your doctor if you do get this result, although it could be a false positive, but better to get checked out. Or the final option could be that it's inconclusive. So if your heart rate is over 120 beats per minute or under 50 beats per minute, the heart rhythm assessment cannot assess your heart rhythm. There are many possible reasons for getting an inconclusive result, but common causes are moving too much during the assessment or not resting your hands on a table. And remember that this assessment is not a diagnosis. So go ahead and tap next. So now it's saying open the ECG app on your Fitbit device. Wear your device snugly, but with enough room for comfort. Let it sit a finger width above your wrist bone. For more info, watch the video. So I'll just go ahead and play this so you can see what it looks like. 
although it doesn't seem like it's uh, working on day two of launch, so I guess you'll have to <laughs> see that for yourself some other time. So I'll go ahead and say done. All right, so I guess what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and put this on my wrist, as they said. This is the nylon hook and loop band, by the way, which I it's probably my favorite band of all time from any wearable I've ever had. So just FYI, that's what this is. All right, so from your clock face, you'll want to swipe to the left again. And we'll go ahead and tap to start on the ECG app. And I already set this up, so I'm not sure why. Okay, so I just tapped open and then it went ahead and said ECG, take heart rhythm assessment, and ready. And I'll just show this is my wrist bone here, and I am one finger width, finger width above that. I can also slide my finger completely underneath so it is loose enough also. So I'm going to tap ready. It says, which wrist is your device on, left or right? This is my left wrist. Have a seat. Try to relax and keep your hands still. So I'm actually standing for this, but I'll just go ahead and say I'm sitting. Now it says, put index finger and thumb on the metal sides. So I'll go ahead and do that. You don't have to press. You don't have to like pinch or anything. So now it's counting down from 30. It says, keep your hands still. So I'll try not to talk too much here. All right, so it says data collected. You can remove your thumb and finger from your device. It says analyzing. And it said inconclusive. So, so the app could not get a good ECG reading. Make sure you're sitting down, your device is on your left wrist, and you're relaxed. If you get this result repeatedly or aren't feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. Don't change your medications based on this result. This app cannot detect heart attack, blood clot, stroke, or other heart conditions. If you think you're having a medical emergency, call emergency services. Download a PDF of your result from the Fitbit mobile app. So then you can either learn more, retake, or done. So I'm going to try to be a little bit more relaxed here and retake. I'm hoping that time worked. Didn't look as bad as the previous times. All right, so finally. <laughs> All right, so now it says normal sinus rhythm. Your heart uh, rhythm appears normal. If you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. I guess they assume you're taking this if you're not feeling well. And don't change your medication based on this result. And the same warnings and that you can download a PDF of your result from the Fitbit mobile app. So you can either learn more or press done. I'm not sure what it'll do if I say learn more. It gives you some information. A normal sinus rhythm means your heart beats in regular rhythm. This result applies only to this specific 30 second reading. The app can't detect your heart rhythm when not in use. If you're not feeling well, you should talk to your doctor. So I'll go ahead and say back and then I guess done. So then the next time you start this, it won't go through the onboarding. Although it does take a little while to load, it seems. So yeah. And then, I don't know. I think they have some bugs to work out still with this Fitbit Charge 5 ECG. It was not as polished as the Fitbit Sense was. So I'm gonna see if I can tap out of it. Okay, so I guess you can just double tap to get back. And then let's see on the phone here. Here from your main Fitbit dashboard, you tap on the Discover tab. If you need to, you might need to scroll down to Assessment and Reports, and you can either slide over here, or you can tap See All, and here check your ECG. So then you tap here, 
and now it says view results. So if I tap there, it shows I did three readings before it finally gave me a normal sinus rhythm. Um, you can also see other information here that's probably helpful for troubleshooting if you're having issues. Uh, there is more information here if you need a reminder on how to use or things like that. Go ahead and just show you the normal sinus rhythm PDF then, so I'll tap. They do give you average heart rate, and I'll tap here, export a PDF for your doctor. It says you'll get a push notification from us when it's ready. This can take a few minutes, okay. So I guess I just have to wait for that little push notification to appear on my phone. So I actually had do not disturb on, so if I go to my Not Fitbit notifications here, it does say your heart rhythm assessment PDF is ready. Check it out. So I'll go ahead and tap here. It says you can download, tap download PDF to save your result or share it with your doctor. So I'll go ahead and tap download PDF. And I'll go ahead and just save it to files. I'll just save it to general. Okay, so now if I go to my files, then I can tap here, and here it gives me my assessment. So you can see here that in the beginning it wasn't really tracking it very well, and then this is more like what it's supposed to look like with these evenly spaced out little peaks, I guess you would call them. So it doesn't have to be perfect the whole time, but I guess that's why it's 30 seconds, so they probably just analyzed this part mostly. And yeah, so you could send that to your healthcare provider or just have that for yourself. But yeah, that's how you use the ECG app on the Fitbit Charge 5. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below as it really helps this video and my channel. And consider subscribing if you want to see more Fitbit Charge 5 and other wearable content. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.